we're gonna look at some self-defense techniques that have been taught online. Quite a lot of interesting ones. I don't see any guided, I just see chaos, I just see spazziness. It doesn't seem like she's even really aiming, right? No, she just kind so, of... So like if, if I'm coming in, she's just like spazzing, yeah, she's just... I saw a couple times too, she would roll over. Oh, so she would give her back? Yeah. She didn't try. She didn't try to she get up, up or anything? No. Let's say she's spazzing, okay? She's spazzing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, definitely no. not. The moment she gives her back, yeah. I can come in. If you're really turning your back on the ground, it gives them an opportunity to jump in. Yeah. Especially if he's that close, right? They weren't far, yeah. they were close. Trap the arm, followed by a quick knife hand strike to the side of the neck. This will cause him to bend forward, making it easy for you to step back, deliver a front knee to the solar plexus, and throw the attacker down. The title says chokehold. He wasn't demonstrating a chokehold in the video. Here's what he was doing. This is not a choke hold. So we're gonna call it a front hold. Okay, so then with the technique, she takes her left hand and she like, her forearm hits me. Yeah. And then um, she brachial stuns me with the right hand. That might hurt. So it could work. Now what if I choke you? If you don't mind yeah. me. So, so let's say I'm choking her. Would this work? So it could work. So it could you work. Just, you have to really commit to it. Yeah, you have to, to it, commit though. to it. Yeah. Because if I just, like, when you watch these videos, a lot of times they'll, yeah, exactly, exactly. But you have to really not yeah. be afraid and just... You have to go with a leverage, too. It's not just a hit, yeah. it's a leverage thing. Oh, because they'll, they'll yeah. do this. Because I feel it in my wrist. That's why I'm, I'm going down. It's not because she hit me. It's because you hit me and you went with it. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You see, it's more like a lock. If she can get my wrist to feel a pain, I might go down. You can't rely on the hit. It's more the leverage of this position. Let's try the hit without the turn. Okay. So no, that, that, that's not that good. Notice when she made me actually go down, she turned, right? She turned into it, which I don't think they did in the video. Uh, I think in the video she was more like... I think it was, and then she pulled him down after, I think. Part of it was he just kind of went down with yeah, it. You yeah. know, they were demonstrating. You have to hit, oh, hit. and like oh, actually like her body has to drag me down because I'm giving both of my hands, I'm giving both of my weapons to her. That's why these type of things are not very effective to people who know how to fight. You're giving both your weapons to them and I'm extending it too. So she can use it against me. If he wants your arm, yeah, instead of pushing away, yeah, so instead of pulling it away, you hold him down towards your wrist and then you swing it and you hold the wrist and then you push it downward. So I'm grabbing her like this and then in the video, I think what she does is she traps my finger and then, and then she Oh, so you turn it like that, and then I guess it's, it's supposed to make me go down, yeah. right? But I don't even feel it. Yeah, I see. I'm coming down, Yeah, she's, she's coming down. Let's say if I really grab, are you able? Yeah, not as much, no, right? I have to really, yeah, you have to really fight for that. What if, you, what if you like try to rip my fingers or something? But that's not what she's showing, right? No. Just, so no, she's she literally just, just trapping. Cuts her hand, traps. Does that give you enough leverage to do that? No. I see. I think I'd have to get... You have to go, yeah, exactly, exactly. If it's a quick thing, uh, I don't think... Like, yeah. I think this is another time... I don't know why I would flip to the out to the stronger part of your hand. Yeah. I'd probably want to flip. Yeah, exactly. If I'm grabbing the opposite hand, yeah. my thumb is pointed this way. Wouldn't it make sense for her to go that way? Yeah. What we're doing here is she's going to my strong hand. She's going to the strong part of the palm. Yeah. And then the other thing is, let's say she does get this. Yeah, there's Me nothing. Do. Yeah. Like, just try, try to really make my... Like yeah, I, yeah, exactly, really, exactly. I'd have to come around. Yeah, 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 exactly. But you're gonna, I'm yeah, sure, I'm gonna stay react. facing yeah, yeah, me yeah. or use your other arm. Yeah, like we I mean, about. I feel like if you're like this, I probably have enough strength to still drag you yeah. over. Yeah, right? <laughs> like yeah. That. Like, yeah, I don't Yeah, yeah, that. exactly. So like, it, she could, I mean, because my hand is not real, is in an awkward position, yeah. you're able to kind of like pull me, right? I, you have a better grip than I do. Yeah, better. so you could. Why do I want to drag you? <laughs> exactly, why does you want to stay grappling with me, especially if I'm bigger? I don't know how you got the person all the way down there. Actually, we do know why. The person demonstrating was bigger. That's why. Yeah, the demonstrator yeah. was huge and the uh, demonstrainee was really small. Yeah, really yeah, small. She didn't know how to fight, yeah. so now if I break, yeah, look at look at her going that way. Okay, check this out. My thumb is here, okay? So this is the weak part of the grip. Check out how she does it. 
See that? I'm gonna try real hard to grab. See that? Versus the other way. You see? You see? The other way, because she's turning towards my four fingers. What is stronger? Four fingers or this little thumb here? Grabbing Sophia's right wrist. Sophia steps forward, followed by a forearm strike to Troy's elbow, twisting her hips swiftly. Keeping pressure on Troy's elbow, Sophia pulls Troy forward face first to the ground, followed by a front thrust kick to the back of Troy's head. So I'm grabbing her wrist here. Somehow as she's turning, she grabs my hand. What's just what's possible? That's really hard. It's hard, yeah. And then she opened up her hips. Yeah. And in that moment. And then she hammer fists. Right. Yeah. And their assumption is she's got me here, so this will hurt, right? Huh. Yeah, I see. A There's my my force is going into you. Yeah. If it were me, uh huh. I would step out. Yeah, yeah, and now exactly. I have yeah. All these angles. Yeah. We can go back to the that, hand grab. What's ineffective is is like assuming you could you could like right. Right. That's not. Yeah. Yeah. That's really hard. Yeah, it is very hard. <laughs> and you have a second hand. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. If I'm am getting control now, you. Yeah. Have the now, other now, hand. now we're we're fighting. The whole point is she doesn't want to grapple with me, especially if she's a smaller girl. She probably wants to step out and you know get her hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, or get her hand away. The other thing, let's say she does, she does get this. She has no guarantee I'm gonna be hyperextended. Yeah. You wanna you wanna you wanna hit me like that? You wanna hit my elbow? I noticed that because in the demonstration when they did it fast, the guy's arm was like this. She was hitting up here. You risk hitting my elbow. Yeah. So let's say you don't you don't hyperextend it. You risk hitting my elbow. There's plenty of space to come in yeah. with other things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You don't have to work the arm if you could punch him in the face potentially. So you grab the wrist, you hold it down, and you just hold the person's shoulder here. Then you turn back and you swing the arm behind. And from this position, you would push down on the knee, and then you disengage. I'm just giving someone a hug. She grabs, yeah, she grabs this, and then she grabs the shoulder, here. and then she slips under, yeah, like here, and gets me in a kimura. And I think she, uh, she like, yeah probably gets them down or something like that. Who would attack someone think, like this, you know? It, it, no, 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 it's okay. more, um, maybe I'm at the club or uh -huh. I'm walking home alone and some guy wants to come oh, walk with me. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. I see. That's what it is. That's why I like bringing in a girl because, you know, guys aren't gonna do that to me, right? But you know, sometimes if you don't mind, a guy yeah. might be like, yo, hey, and you then, wanna come with me? I see. Mm -hmm. Thanks for explaining that yeah. because I was like, that was a very awkward defense. Yeah, it's like you're leading the girl to wherever you're stalking her. Oh, her. Yeah. okay, I see. So, okay, now we get it. So he's so, kind of like, okay, you come with me, girl. And come with me, girl. She stepped back. Yeah. But you have to get a really yeah. good hold. Yeah, yeah. Then, well, again, you have to account for this hand too, right? She's giving both her hands. Right. So this hand, you gotta be careful this hand. This hand, you know, could, could hurt her. So you probably have to address this hand. Why Why not like grab here or something? I she might have done that. She might have done that? Yeah. Because I know for sure she was holding. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But even then, I don't have a lot of control yeah, over exactly. you. Right? At least kind of like turning into me. Yeah. Turning into me. So like, yeah. or if you're holding, yeah, maybe I could yeah, turn, turn in. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I me. get what this is doing, but this hand, her hand here is wasted, right? Mm -hmm. Just grabbing this here. Yeah. I feel like she's got more use of this hand. He's not going to expect you to come in with the left hook. I'm very biased. Like, I love punching, so I'm like, oh, yeah. But seriously, if, if somebody grabs me, if I'm walking down the street, and somebody grabs me, I don't think they're gonna expect me to stop and Boom, come yeah, in. yeah. Instead of trying to get a bigger guy into a stress position, it might be hard. Yeah. Hit him and run. I'll try to resist as she tries to get me into okay. a stress position. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen, no. right? Yeah, see, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. That's probably more effective. She hits me a few times or hits me once and tries to run. Like, yeah. I'm sure if she hits me in the face, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be like, whoa, and then she can run. Use your elbow to strike the rib cage, followed by a knife hand or fist strike to strike the... Throw him over your hip to the ground and follow up with a punch to the face. They recommended you elbow my, my rib here, like my rib here. But she, uh, she got pretty low too, yeah. and there was space between their hips. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he wasn't... Yeah, he wasn't height. really. I mean, if he bumps the, there's, yeah, there's he no bumps. Way. On top of that, guys, look, 
he left this side open, okay? Mm -hmm. So what's the use of hitting the other side if this side's already open, you know? That, uh, that feels like that's gonna choke me more yeah. too. Yeah! If this side's open, she can just use this side and run away. Ow. Try slipping out of this side. See? Yeah. Why, why did she first hit that side? Yeah. Especially you give them time to react now. So let's say she hits me on that side. Okay, now, now, now she's, now, right, you see? Yeah. This side's open, which assuming that's what they're showing, it's not like, you know, it's not something else where, you know, he's got something here or something. No, like, his other yeah, arm. Yeah, his other arm was down, okay, maybe his other's here. Well, guess what? There's an opening here. I feel like that one was just an overcomplication of an obvious opening. I'm wondering if you do put pressure, will I be able to get on that oh, one? Oh, that's something good to test, will yeah. I still be able to okay, get on that let's say I'm going here, okay. Oh, Oh, even that's hard. I see. So the lesson is before I bump her hips, maybe if the guy didn't understand to bump the hips. Right. Let's see if, if I'm just going like this. Yeah, still it's a little hard. It was slightly easier, it right? Was, it was easier than with the hips, but I feel like if you're panicking, that's that's not going to be... Yeah. It's gonna be hard to do. Take what they were trying to say. Yeah. So as you're struggling, maybe hit me in the ribs or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you can probably hit the groin yeah, area. Yeah, hit the groin area. What Allie and I are showing is if you get into a chokehold, you better fight hard. It's, yeah. it's hard to escape that. Yeah. I had a friend, he was putting a chokehold and they brought him to the ground. He got robbed. You know, sometimes it happens. I had a Taekwondo friend too. I tried doing this to him one time. He actually came up to my, to my, he like, yeah, he, oh, he like yeah. came up to my face. Uh -huh. So maybe potentially try to elbow the face yeah. or something. Yeah. Pointed out something as I was demonstrating. What my friend did to me back in the day when I tried to choke him, it's not very applicable because my friend was taller than me. So I was trying to choke a guy and of course it's easy for him to elbow me in the face. But if I'm holding Ali here, you know, it's hard for her to try to elbow me in the face. I mean, it's not actually, impossible. No, actually I can't. Right? You can't, right? Oh, I see. It's, it's literally being blocked. Yeah. So when I said like try to elbow in the face so that my friend elbowed me in the face, it's not really applicable to someone that's smaller, usually a woman that's being choked by someone bigger. And that actually leads to a perfect kind of segue, which is that a lot of these self-defense tutorials, it's it's like some woman showing it on another woman or something. It's, it's never like a big guy being shown the technique. Usually when it is on bigger people or when the bigger people person is playing the attacker, a lot of times they are very, they're not resisting. Yes, yes. So it'll be a really big guy and then a small girl, but the guy will not, resist and the girl thinks she'll know how to defend herself but she really most likely won't and perfect example is that choke defense right she gave her a lot of room to do all that stuff right to hit and hit there what we did earlier if i really go like this now you're like tested out here test out really giving pressure so great point by ali not only get someone bigger to test it out but also the person has to give you pressure and somebody pulls you back this way mm -hmm. So you'd swing your arm over. Ouch! This one assumes I'm grabbing her ponytail here. And then what the person does is kind of a little, like a stress position. She goes like that, exactly. How do you feel doing this? Uh, if I turn in, maybe uh -huh. you still have a, uh, a free hand and you probably wouldn't let go of my ponytail. Yeah, exactly. If I were attacking somebody, that's not gonna get me to let go of their ponytail you're gonna get hurt. In that clip, that's all she did, right? And it got rid of this. Um, yeah, like, that's I all think, she did, I did think. Did she maybe do a kick or maybe, something? Maybe, maybe. I don't even think she did Even getting a kick. here, I, yeah. Wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't even get here. Yeah. I think we, we touched on it earlier. Somebody's holding on to my hair from the back if I had long hair. I would uh, wanna come in and attack. Uh, I don't wanna, like you keep talking about, I wouldn't wanna grapple them. Especially if the person's bigger. If she does do this thing, you follow up with a, a strikes to the face and run or something. Don't expect this stress position to work alone. Yeah. Especially if my hands are open too. If I'm grabbing with my left, if she's right handed, she's using her better hand, right? Trap. Yeah, to trap. So now she's using her weaker hand to strike. If somebody's holding onto my ponytail, I mean, yeah, my right hand's closer, but there's so many yeah, yeah, things you yeah. can still do. Yeah, because if I'm holding onto her ponytail, I'm basically signaling to her we're in striking range. I can be punched if yeah. I'm holding her. If he's holding on to me, uh -huh. he's right here. Yeah, I'm in, yeah. Even if you're here, uh -huh. I'm still in striking range. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. The tour says something correct, which is if I'm holding your ponytail, don't try to pull away, right? With all of these that we're testing out and thinking about, you probably want to get away as quick as possible. Yeah. So the moment you have an opening, run away. Yeah. If somebody's attacking me and 
they let go, I'm out. I kind of know how to fight here and there. I'm not going to sit there and fight with the grown man. Yeah. The moment I know I can run, I'm going to run, yeah. scream. Yeah. Um, a lot of people forget you can go into a store, any businesses, yeah. ask for help. Yeah. Do whatever you can to get out of that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Don't exactly. think you can take on a grown man because sadly, the chances are you can't. So yeah. just get out. A great lesson. Learn real techniques, go test them out, go get trained by people who know what they're doing. But also remember, despite that, there's something called weight classes and yeah. things like that. If something happens on the street, God forbid, run as quick as you can, shout for help as quick as you can. If needed, give them your money or whatever. Yeah. Don't think certain techniques are gonna save you. Yeah. Cool guys, so this was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. If you hear the wind sound, it is very windy today. Awesome, thank you, Ellie. Thank you.